Hello, hello, my dear students. Hi, teacher. How are you? Welcome. Very good. The early birds, los madrugadores. <laughs> that's very good. No, that, that's a very good, that's a very good uh, custom that you have, right? If you are, a, if you are accustomed to do it, that's pretty good, right? When you arrive early. Siempre es mejor estar temprano. Exacto. So it, it's a lot better. Teacher. Yes. Tengo una, una consulta. Hoy me mandaron un, un mensaje de WhatsApp en donde me, me mandan lo de la inscripción nuevamente. Supongo que para el siguiente módulo. Sí. Sí. Siempre. Eh... Ahorita. Ajá. Tengo una dificultad ahorita en el sentido de que no estoy en la casa, estoy fuera del país por un por uno, unas semanas y donde estoy no, no tengo para imprimir como piden oh. el, el, el documento que se que se imprima que se firme y se vuelva a mandar verdad sí, sí. entonces tengo tengo ese problema cómo podría ser eh, bueno ahí no sé si sí, primero lo que tendríamos que hacer es contactar a uno de los encargados ¿verdad? y darle okay. el, la, la, el caso porque sí. creo que hay una aplicación en pdf donde usted puede firmar el documento Ah, ok. Ajá, entonces este, pero lo primero sería como pasarle el caso a uno de los encargados. Ahí en el chat, cuando usted pone que necesita ayuda a alguno de los facilitadores, eh, le atiende. ¿verdad? Ok, si no, perfecto. Yo le doy el forward al, a alguno de los facilitadores para que ellos le den la opción, porque yo sé que hay una aplicación en PDF que usted puede firmar el documento ahí, pero no sé si es válido con Insafor. Ah, sí, Así. es que fíjese que eh, eh, donde estoy, eh, tengo podría tener facilidad, pero hasta por el 20 y me lo están pidiendo para el 16. Ah, sí, entonces este entonces, igual. Ajá, hay mañana que... me contacto con ellos. Exacto, exacto. Hay, que, hay que exponerles el caso okay. y obviamente para decirles dónde usted está ahorita y, sí. y todo y por las razones por las que está fuera del país ahorita. Exacto. Y, y pues sí, vea, yo, yo sé okay. que ya ellos le pueden brindar la mejor solución ante okay. el, el caso. Muchas okay. gracias. Ok, ok. Hello, everybody. Siempre les, les llega el, el, la, la, la inscripción cuando llevamos como a la mitad del curso, vea, ya para, para que ustedes, porque es un proceso bastante largo, pues de todo el, el registro y toda la cosa, para que ustedes ya lo hagan para el siguiente módulo. Y obviamente, pues entre módulo y módulo, a veces solo hay como, que Una semana más o menos, o cuatro o cinco días, y ya retoman el, el, el curso. Entonces es como, ellos tienen que tener todo listo para ese proceso, ¿verdad? Así es. Así que es por eso que van a estar recibiendo la información para que se vuelvan a inscribir. Y no es para ese, sino que es para el siguiente. Ok. Así que para que no se asusten si de repente les llega el, el correo o la información. Well, yesterday we were talking about eh, the plurals, right? We were talking about the different forms of plurals, the different rules. And we were talking also about these, that, these, and those, right? We were making the review of this part of the lesson. Today, we are going to talk about the prepositions of place, right? We are going to talk about prepositions of place, and we are going to be covering that section to finish part number two and start part number three, that it's about the different countries, nationalities, Right, and we are going to be covering that section of the of the of the module, right? Covering the verb to be. We are going to talk a little bit about uh, the different countries, nationalities, and how to create sentences, right? That's what we are going to be doing in uh, the next classes. So today. As I told you, we're going to talk about prepositions of place, right? Do you know a little bit about prepositions of place? What are they about? Uh, how do you use them? Do you have any idea of this? My dear class, yes or no? Uh-huh. 
any idea about prepositions of place? Cerca. Yes. But, uh, for example, in the prepositions we have in, on, in front of, behind, next to, over, under, between, right? And that is what we are going to be covering in this lesson, okay? So, yesterday we finished the class with a conversation. I don't know in which house is raining right now. Está viviendo en alguno de sus lugares. Oí un ruido algo fuerte, como de lluvia. O era un ventilador. <laughs> okay. Great. Jorge, very nice backgrounds. The ones that you use all the time. You have a whole variety. Siempre hay como diversidad de backgrounds ahí con Jorge. That's pretty awesome. Welcome the rest of the class. Marta, hello, Miss Ma Mr. Mario, Carlita, Maria Teresa, Jennifer Tatiana. I hope you're feeling better. Eh, Leti, Nelson, Norma, Maria Teresa, Linda, and for sure, Mr. Luis Eduardo and Mr. Juan Antonio. Welcome to your class. As I told you, we were doing this yesterday, right? We were doing this and we were talking about the importance of expressing in English because English is a very expressive language, right? That it's always a company with a lot of movement, with a lot of expressions, with a lot of body language because it helps the speaker and the receiver to understand the meaning or the message, right? So, for example, in this case, as I was sharing yesterday, we have like, oh no, right? Where are my car keys? ¿Cómo reaccionarían ustedes en español si se les pierden las llaves del carro? Dijeran, oh, perdí las llaves del carro. No, right? <laughs> what, what, what would be your expression? Imagínense que ahorita buscaron las llaves del carro y no las tienen. ¿Cómo reaccionan? Oh my God. Oh my God. Ajá. Pero me van a decir a mí que ya nos vamos y yo estoy esperando al otro lado del carro. ¿Cómo me dicen que no tienen las llaves del carro? Ajá. Metámonos en personaje. Bueno, bicho, vámonos ya. O sea, ¿qué pasó? Abrí el carro. Oh, chica, no encuentro la llave. No encuentro la llave, boy. Ajá. And you start scratching the, the bag, right? <laughs> Buscala, buscala en la cartera. And you say, ya no, las perdí. Ya las perdí. Juan Antonio, abrí el carro. <ríe> Ayúdenme. Abrí el carro, Juan Antonio, ¿tenés las llaves? Ajá. ¿Cómo reaccionaríamos si no tenemos las llaves del carro? ¿Cómo me dirías que no tenés las llaves del carro? I lost the car keys. I lost the keys. Ajá. Pero si en una reacción, en una reacción pura del español, Nelson, ¿abrí el carro? Oh, no. Where are my car keys? Where are my car keys? It's like, oh, it's my keys, right? And so like, I don't know. I don't have them. I don't have the car keys. Marlon, open the car. He lost the car, the keys, and the microphone. Lo siento, voy conectándome. ¿Cómo me dirías que perdiste las llaves del carro? Una expresión, pero en español. Ajá. En un léxico bien. Ajá, algo así. Ajá. Híjole. Ajá. Ah, híjole, mis llaves. Ajá, las llaves, right? So, exactly like that. So, English is exactly like that, but it's a little bit more expressive. And you don't say like, oh, where are my car keys? Ah, no, right? It's like, oh, no, where are my car keys? And it says like, relax, Kate. O sea, para que alguien te diga, hey, relax. It's because you are like very excited, right? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they are not. They are gone. 
right? I, I lost them. I bet they are on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? <gasps> yes, they are. Thank you. Now, because you found them. Ya las encontró, ya se siente, ya se siente feliz, se siente relajado, right? Practice with me. Go ahead, repeat. Oh, no, where are my car keys? <clears throat> Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where, where are, are my car, car keys? keys? Relax, Kate. Relax, Relax Kate. Kate. Are they in your purse? Are, are they, they in your, your, purse? your purse? Your purse? No, they are not. They are gone. No, no. They, are not. they are not. They are gone. gone. They are gone. I bet they are on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. Yes, yes they, they are. are. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Right? Thank, Thank you. you. Because you feel grateful that you feel relief, right? Like, whew, right? See, no problem. Like when, what your husband will say, like, así le hubiera dicho su esposo, ya ves, gran aspaviento que hiciste. <laughs> sí, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> And <laughs> is this your wallet? Is this your wallet? No, it's not. Where is your wallet, mm. Joe? No, 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 it is not your wallet. Where is your wallet, Joe? Wallet, Joe. In my pocket. In my, my, pocket. My, in my, my pocket. pocket. Wait a minute. Wait, Wait a, a minute. minute. That is my wallet. That, that, that is, is my wallet. 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 What will be the what will be like the the word for wait a minute in Spanish? ¿Cuál sería el equivalente? What would be the equivalent? Espera like? un momento. Espera un momento. Ajá, ¿en In Good Salvadorian? Al mato. Otra cosa. No, it's like, no, no te, aquí las cargo en la bolsa. And then you say like, wait a minute, that is my wallet. What would be the equivalent for us in Spanish, in Salvadorian Spanish? Espera. Esperate. ¿Ah? Esperate. Right? We don't say esperate, we say perate. Esperate, sí, es la mía. Right? That is my wallet, right? Sí, es la mía. Right? So that's that's the form. Okay, students, go ahead. You are going to read it alone. Leanla solo ustedes. One, two, and three. Go ahead. Oh, no. 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 Okay, very good job, very good job. We only have difficulties with the word keys, right? Are these your keys? Don't say case, okay? Are these your keys? Yes. Right? My car keys. Where are my car keys? Right? And purse. Are they in your purse? Right? Purse. And purse. let's see. Wallet. 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 And you say like, wait a minute. That is my wallet. Right? So wait in this case, that is my wallet. Here you have different uh, prepositions of place as well. In this case, we have in your purse, right? It means that they are inside something, right? They are in your purse. And it's like, no, I bet they're 
on the table, right? On the table. In on the restaurant. The table. Right? In and the restaurant. Here you have in my pocket, right? In, in my pocket. pocket. Inside the pocket, right? So this is like kind of the introduction for the prepositions of place. Here we have the different forms of questions with the verb to be like the questions that you were asking today in the group, like, hey, well, well, how do you do this sentence? How do you do this question? In this case, when you have the verb to be, right, for a yes, no question, you only use is or are at the beginning of the question, right? Like in this case, you say, is this your umbrella? No, it is not, right? Este fue como el error más común en las oraciones cuando hacemos preguntas. Ustedes solo ponían el sujeto. Decimos, no, it not, no es completo. No, it is not. Right? And in this one, when you say, are these your keys? Yes. Y si estamos hablando de las llaves, es un plural. And you say, they yes, are. they yes. are. Y tenemos que ponerle el verbo también, right? Yes, they are. Because if not, the sentence is not complete. For the yes, no questions. Si se fijan, si comienza con is y con are, la respuesta siempre va a ser yes or no. Si ya le ponen una expresión con WH, como where, how, why, what, right? You get information questions. In this case, you say like where are, where are your sunglasses? And in this one, you say, eh, they are on the table, right? I have them here. They are on the table. And it says like, no. No, it is. Are. Uh -huh. No. They, 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 are, they not. are not. No, they are not, they are. right? No, they are not, right? They are my sunglasses. Oh, you say like, where are your sunglasses? They are on the table. It's like, no, they are not. They are my sunglasses. You're right. My sunglasses are, sorry, are in my purse, right? My sunglasses are in my purse. And it says, where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? Are these your glasses? Porque aquí estamos preguntando, confirmando si es algo que yo le estoy mostrando. Where are my glasses? Ah, are these your glasses? And it says like, no, they are not. No, they are not. Wait. Are they? It's a question, right? Si es una pregunta, dice, are they in your pocket? Yes, they are. They are. Yes, they are. Thanks, right? And in this one. And it says, this my pen? In this case, you have, is this my pen? It is my pen. No. No, it's not. It is not. No, it is it's no, it is not. It is my pen. Sorry. And in this one, here you need to find a location because you have here on your desk. Sorry. Where? Where is my pen? And you say, it's... It is... On your desk. Oh, you are right. It's on my desk. Right? And here you have it's on my desk. The idea is that you know if you are talking about he, she, it, right? And you use the correct subject in the questions, right? That was the most common problem in the exercise of the platform. Hay un ejercicio en la plataforma que habla de las nacionalidades, pero ahí dice en plural, en singular. So you need to use we in that case. You don't have to use he or she. And that has been a very common problem on that section. So here, if I say, where is your wallet? I am asking for the location of something. Where are my keys? You have to tell me a place where they are. 
Okay, so that's the way that you use the question where. La pregunta where es para decir un lugar o una ubicación. So, this one, for example, gives us the location of different objects. In this case, the books are in the book bag, right? Because it is open and the books are inside. The DVD player is next to next to right it's a la par right it's next to it's next to what it's next to what it's next to the tv right next to the, the television TV. and the map <laughs> under the under, newspaper under the on the map the is the under newspaper. the newspaper, right? The map is under the newspaper. Okay, the map is under the newspaper. And in this one, you say the chair is behind. 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 Okay, don't say Beijing, right? It's behind. Behind the, behind the, the desk. desk. It's behind the desk. Good. And in this one, remember the period. The wallet, right? The wallet is on, on, the, on, purse. on the purse. It's on the purse, right? The wallet is on the purse. And here you have the cell phone is in front of in front the of. address book. In front of the address book, right? In front of the address, the address book. <laughs> Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Aquí tenemos un, un catarrito latente ahí. Yo, yo tuve catarro, pero no es mi culpa. <laughs> right? The cell phone is in front of the address book. Okay. Imagine that you have a container. Imagine that you have a container, right? No sé si tienen algún contenedor, un vaso, una taza, ahí que lo podemos ocupar. O si no lo tienen, pues su mano. Right? Puede ser su mano. Ok, si tienen algo ahí que lo puedan ocupar. So, if I have the highlighter here, if I put it here, is in the box, right? It's in the box. Pongan algo ahí en, adentro de su contenedor. Let me see if you have it. Put something there. It's in the box, right? If I place it right here, it's in front of the box, right? It's in front of the box. In front of the box. In front of. So in, say, in front in. of. This is in. 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 If it's like this, it's on. Over. On. On. No, on. Si está puesto on. encima, así, encimita, on. it's on, right? On. This is on. In. In. And on. on. This is in front of. In front of. In front of. In front of. In front behind. Of. Behind. behind. Next to. Next, Next to. to. Over. 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 Under. Over. Under. Under. And if I have two things. And it's in the middle, it's between, 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 it's between, right? It's between because it's in the middle of the two things. So you have in, in on, on, in front of, in front of, behind, behind, behind next to, next, next to, to, over, over, under, over, under. under between. 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 between, right? So you say between. in, on, in front of, behind, next to, over, under, between. <laughs> and then un hechizo <laughs> next to it. So you say in, it's on, uh -huh. in, over, it's like on. No, over, on is like this. On si está sobre el objeto, right? On. Over is like sobre el objeto, pero así. O sea, no lo toca. Va como por encima de. Okay, over. 
over. Por ejemplo, yeah. si usted quiere entrar a algún rancho y no puede quitar el falso, you are going to jump over the fence. Okay. Okay. When you count the sheep, when you are sleeping, you say one, two, three, right? Over, por encima de, right? Por sobre de. Good. Now, everybody, put your, your object. ¿Dónde está todo? ¿Dónde está su objeto? El de todo. ¿Dónde está su objeto? Si no tiene objeto, ponga la manita así. Ok, good. Put the object. Tengan otro objeto ahí. Put the object behind. In front of. Under. Under. In. In. On. Next to. Next to. Between. Between is en medio de, right? Between. Okay. Behind. Over. Over. Ah, pero que la Ok, good. So that's, that's the preposition, right? Those are the prepositions of place. Good job. Now you are going to remember them, right? Cuando se confunda, van a decir in, on, in front of, behind, next to, over, under, between. Yeah, I know. I remember them. So that's the form. That's the way you use them, right? And here we go back to our presentation. In the presentation here, I have different positions of different keys. So, for example, here I have where are the keys? And you have different positions of the keys. In this case, we have the keys are in the box, in front of the box, behind the box, on the box, next to the box, and under the box, right? Those are the different places or the different prepositions exactly like the ones that I have been telling you, right? Tengo el ejemplo vivo aquí, ya ven. <laughs> de mi presentación. So there you have it. The, those are the different prepositions. Here, I have different objects. And I am going to show you a picture. I have here the different objects. I have a briefcase, a camera, cell phone, glasses, the newspaper, the notebook, the umbrella, the wallet. And the question is, where is? Where is? And you tell the object. It is on. That's the way you answer. It's on. And you say on the table, on the desk, uh, on the mirror, on the wall, right? in front, behind, and you can use the different prepositions of place. So the question is, where is, and the answer, it's on or they are on if they are plural, okay? I have the picture here. I need you to write sentences on your notebook using the prepositions of place. Write four sentences of objects and the prepositions using the picture. How are you going to do it? Necesito que escriban al menos cuatro. ¿Cómo la vamos a hacer? Les voy a dar un ejemplo. And I am going to write it right here. And I will say, uh, the glass, the glass is on the TV. Okay? The glass is on the TV. And that it's this one, right? The glass is on the TV. And you have one sentence. Okay? Tiene que escribir cuatro. Al menos cuatro. About different objects and different prepositions of place. In front, behind, in the middle, between, under. And different objects. Okay? Teacher. Yes? Briefcase es maletín, ¿verdad? Yes, this is a briefcase, right? This is okay. the briefcase. Gracias. Here you have one object. Here you have another one. Here you have another one. Here you have another one. The wallet. 
the umbrella. Here you have also the pictures, the address book, the keys, uh, the glasses, the notebook, right? I think there you have a lot of objects. I need you to create the sentences. You can also talk about the table. It, is, it has a preposition for the table, right? So write at least four sentences. And use the different prepositions, right? Yes, Kati, do you have a question? Escucho. Ajá. No le escucho. Kati, no me oye. No. <ríe> ¿Cómo me conté? Ahorita sí, ahorita sí. Ahí sí, ya. Ahí está. Yo dije, qué buena es para leer sí, con la vida. Sí. Okay. No, no, ahorita sí. Okay, Katy, we are going to write four sentences with prepositions of place. Cuatro oraciones usando las preposiciones de lugar y los objetos. Ahí les puse un ejemplo. Honestamente me va a ponchar porque he estado, si usted se fija, he estado un poquito ausente. Okay, sigamos el ejemplo. Okay, ¿qué vamos a poner primero? El objeto. Vamos a poner primero el objeto. Imagínense que estamos hablando de la mesa. Vamos a poner primero el objeto. The table. Después vamos a poner el verbo. Si es singular o plural. Uy, perdón. Me, se me fue una E ahí. The table. Vamos a poner si es singular o plural. Si estamos hablando solo de una mesa, vamos a poner is o are. Is. Is. The table are. is. The, the table, table is. is. ¿Y a dónde está la mesa? Aquí se las he señalado, la mesita de centro. Si está en, en medio de, ¿cuál es la preposición que necesitamos? Between. It's okay, it's okay. Between. Perdón. Between es la preposición que vamos a ocupar. The table is between. ¿Qué son los dos objetos que están a la par de la mesa? Eh, el sofá. Ajá. Y la the sofa. Eh. And the. Pongamos un objeto más grande. And the TV. Right? Eh, the table eh. is between the sofa and the TV. Eh. Vaya, quiero practicarlo. The table is between the sofa and the TV. And the TV. Ajá. Ahora, <laughs> si estamos hablando de la cámara, ¿dónde está la cámara? <coughs> Abajo, en el suelo. Ajá. ¿Enfrente de qué? De la TV. Ajá. So you say, reemplazamos la oración. Y aquí vamos a decir, the camera is... In front of the TV. Y así podemos ir haciendo las oraciones. Solo vamos reemplazando los objetos y las preposiciones. Right? In this case, you are going to say the camera. Haríamos así. The camera is in front of the TV. Ok? Y ya tenemos otra oración. Ahora agarre otro objeto y haga, un, <coughs> haga una. Eh, es una radio, ¿verdad? La que está encima de los lentes. La que está abajo de los lentes. De lo que está abajo de los lentes. Yeah, it's a radio. Puedo, puedo usar, ¿cómo se, dice, ¿cómo se dice radio? Radio. The radio uh -huh. is between the, puedo usar siempre the sofa. The radio. Ok, porque aquí está la radio. Aquí la tenemos, ¿ves? Aquí. Ah, esta que está aquí abajo, dice. Sí. No. O esta de aquí arriba. Pero, sí. Ok, so you say, let's talk about the glasses. Hablemos Me de los lentes. Mejor. Hablemos de los lentes. You say, the glasses are on the radio. The glasses are on the radio. The glasses are on The radio. The radio. The radio. Yes. The radio. The radio. Let's see the other examples. Juan Antonio, give me one example. Vaya agarrando todos los ejemplos de sus compañeros, Katia, para que pueda hacer sus oraciones también. Juan Antonio. 
The cell phone is under the table. The cell phone is under the table. Very good. Si la podemos mandar al chat, Juan, please. Jose, give me one sentence. Jose Alexander. Uh, the pictures are on the wall. The pictures are on the wall. Send it to the chat. Leticia. Uh, the newspaper is on the table. The newspaper is on the table. Very good, Leticia. Mandémosla al chat, please. Jorge, what is your example? The wallet is under the armchair. The wallet is under the armchair. Very good job, Jorge. Mandémosla al chat. Let's see. Norma, give me your sentence. Um, the mallet is in front of the sofa. Okay, the briefcase. Briefcase. Por, por aquí se lo voy a poner. Briefcase. briefcase. Es briefcase. Maletín. Ajá, that's maletín. The briefcase. Uh, Very the good. Briefcase is, is from on the sofa. The briefcase. The briefcase is in front of the sofa. Is in front of the sofa. Very good. Mandémosle al chat, Norma, porfa. Luis Eduardo, give me your sentence. Only one. Um, ya vi, eh, las que había hecho ya las mencionaron pero voy it's a okay, hacer esta okay. um, the table under is in the briefcase ok the briefcase Please the briefcase on. is on the table ok the briefcase is on the table Nelson no lo tengo las que ya mencionaron algunos de los it's ok, it's okay. no importa uh, démosle camera is in front of the TV. The camera uh, the... is in front of the TV. Very good. Mandémosla al chat. Linda. The umbrella is under the sofa. The umbrella is under the sofa. The umbrella is under the sofa. Very good. Let's continue with Jennifer Tatiana. The wallet is under the sofa. The wallet is under the sofa. Perfect. The wallet is under the sofa. Jose Alexander, tell me. Eh, una pregunta. Eh, yeah. Sofa eh, es así en inglés. Or... In, in English or in Spanish is the same. It can be sofa. Ah, okay. The most common thing, lo, lo más común, lo más común es que sofa in English is the big one, right? Es el que tiene como tres asientos. But it's possible to say sofa here. Armchair, it's the most appropriate form. Porque es como silla con bracito, o sillón individual. That is armchair. I am going to write it here too. Puede ser también armchair. Es que busqué también. Bueno, me entró esa duda y puse en el traductor y me salió... Coach. Algo coach, así. ajá, yeah, the coach. Uh -huh. A coach is, eh, es uno más acolchado, más grande, con más asientos, right? A coach. There you go. Okay, But it's possible too. Thank you very much. Very good question. Okay, let's continue with eh, Carla Lisset. Um, the pictures are over the sofa. The pictures are over the sofa. Very good sentence. Send it on the chat. Marlon. The books in the front of the stereo. Okay, the books are the books are in front of the stereo. The books are in front of the stereo. Mandémosla al chat, Marlon. Eh, Carla Stephanie. The microphone, there you go. <laughs> the newspaper is behind the briefcase. Very good. The newspaper is behind the briefcase. Mandela al chat, please. Marta Jacqueline. Uh, las que yo hice también ya las dijeron. Pero It's okay. Yo pensaba que era the umbrella is behind of the armchair. The umbrella is behind. It's possible too. Yeah, it's it's behind. It can be behind or under, but it's correct. Send it on the chat. Mandala al chat. 
Let me see. Uh, let me see, Maria Guadalupe. The table in front of the sofa. The table is the table is in front of the sofa. The table is in front of the sofa. Catherine Portillo. The newspaper is in front of the briefcase. The newspaper is in front of the briefcase. Very good. And Mario Antonio. Uh, the glasses are on the radio. The glasses are on the radio. Okay, Catherine and Mario, send me the sentence on the chat. Okay, mandenmelas al chat. Katia, ¿ya tiene algún ejemplo? O algún ejemplo ya que ya mencionaron. Ok, si no, Katia, arme un ejemplo y lo manda al chat, please. Ok, my dear students, I'm going to call the attendance. Le puede pasar lista. Ok, en estos casos de las oraciones de grammar, me gusta al menos que todos hagan alguna para que nos demos cuenta si tenemos errores, si nos comemos alguna palabra, si la estamos armando bien, si la estamos armando ordenada. Y entre todos, si, por, si damos ejemplos, obviamente, aprendemos de todos. And that's a very good technique. Ok, I am going to call the attendance right now. Le voy a pasar lista. Voy a dejar de compartir un ratito. Y remember, if you listen to your name, say here or present. Okay? Let's go. Here. I am going to start with Jennifer Tatiana. Okay, very good. Let me see. Let me just fix my page. And here I go. Okay. And here. Jorge Alberto. Present. Thank you, Jorge. Jose Alexander. Present. Josue Mejia. Present. Juan Antonio. Present. Juan Diego. Carla Lisset. Present. Carla Nicole. Carla Stephanie. Present. Catherine Judith. Present. Catherine Paola. Okay. Catherine Paola. Not present. Okay, let's continue. I am going to go with, uh, okay, Catherine Paola is not here. Let's go with Katia Dalila. Present. Thank you very much. Let's continue with Leticia Aide. <coughs> Present. Linda Beatriz. Present. Lucia Fernanda. Lucy, Lucia Fernanda. Luis Eduardo. I'm here. Thank you. Manuel Alfredo. Manuel Alfredo. Ok. Eh, María Elena. María Elena Galdames. María Guadalupe. Gracias. Thank you. María Teresa. María Teresa. Present. Thank you. Mario Antonio. Present. Marlon José. Present. Marta Jacqueline. Present. Thank you. Miguel Leonidas. Thank you. Nelson Rodimiro. Nelson. ¿Qué se me hizo Nelson? Ahí está. Ah, ya le vi la manita. La tenía no, ahí. no me he el micrófono. Aquí ok, empiezo. ok. Thank you. No me Abigail. Eh, Norma Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Patricia Maricela. Ok. Eh, Rodrigo Antonio. Rodrigo Antonio. En Rosalba. Hey, Rosalba. She has two days without attending. Okay. 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Exactly. Ok. Thank you, my dear students, for uh, the attendance. Thank you very much. I am going to go and check the sentences on the chat. Here. Uh, I have here. Uh, the camera is in front. Ok. Voy a empezar desde la primera. The pictures are on the wall. Jose Alexander, very good. The cell phone is under the table, correct. The wallet is under the armchair, good. The newspaper is on the table, the camera is in front of the TV. The pictures are over the sofa, good. Siempre recuerden que las oraciones inician con mayúscula. The glasses, glasses va unido, vea. Eh, the newspaper, newspaper no lleva mayúscula. Is behind the briefcase, the books, oh, the book. R is, no podemos poner R is porque son dos verbos, vea. Ahí estoy, estoy leyendo las que están en el chat. The book... Perdón. Ajá. Vea la mía, tal vez. The computer. Ok, Katherine Barrera. The computer. Katia. Katherine, Katia. Ya estoy enamorada, aquí del nombre de Katherine. Ajá. Katia, Katia, siempre le digo Katia. The computer is, ahí no es it, es is, y es. The computer is in front of me. Good. The computer is in front of me. La computadora está enfrente de mí. It's a good sentence. Solo le corregimos el it's. Porque es solo is. I s. Eh, uh, solo quiero pronunciarlo porque sí me he quedado un poquito atrasada. No, it's okay. Go ahead. The computer is uh -huh. in front of me. In front of me. Very good job. In front of me. In of front me. of me. Good. In the case of Norma Guadalupe, briefcase. Briefcase. Ahí sus compañeros han escrito briefcase, hay que corregirlo. The briefcase is in front of the sofa. Ok. And el, the umbrella. El que me dice disculpa. No, no, no. Esa era de Norma Guadalupe. Perdón. Perdón. La de Norma. Corrijamos briefcase. Eh, Jorge Alberto de Radio is... In between no es posible. The radio is between. Quitémosle in between. No. The radio is between the glasses and the cabinet. And the wallet is under the sofa. Good. Um, the computer. Let's see. The newspaper is in front of the briefcase. The book. En el caso de Marlon Mendoza, me pone. The book R is in front of the stereo. No podemos tener R is juntos. The books are or the book is. Ahí decidamos cuál de las dos vamos a dejar. Y ahí estamos. Very good job, my dear students. Very good. Me la pueden decir bonita, pero si la decimos, si la escribimos mal, that's a problem. Por eso a mí me gusta revisarles todo. Escritura, gramática, spelling. Todo vamos ahí en detalle. Excellent job. Let's continue. I have more exercises. Don't worry. I have more examples. Now I have here a very crazy picture. I have here a very crazy picture and it has a lot of problems. It has a lot of problems and you are going to tell me some of the problems on the picture. What are some of the problems that you can see? ¿Cuáles son los problemas que ustedes ven aquí? What is the problem with the TV, for example? Sí. Oh. The TV is behind. Uh -huh. the behind what? The TV is behind the clock. The the clock. New, what is the newspaper? The newspaper is on. On, on, the, on, the, wall. Wall. on the wall, right? Where is yeah. the umbrella? The umbrella is between the wall and the picture. Is okay. Is the picture. Behind the picture. Behind. 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 The umbrella is behind, behind the picture. <laughs> yeah. It's logical because it's between the wall and the picture, right? But it's behind the picture. Where are the chairs? The chairs are under the, on the table. Under the under the table, right? Under the chairs the are under the table. Where is the sofa? The sofa is on the table. On the desk, right? On the desk. On the table, it's okay. Where is the door? The Where is the door? 
the door is the door. behind the door the is on the desk. The door, the door, the door is behind the sofa, the desk, and the phone. The, the phone. The phone. Uh, and where is the phone? Under the, the phone is on the table, on the on desk. The, under the desk. Under the desk. And where is the window? The window is between and is the TV. Okay. Behind. The window is behind. behind the television. Behind the television. Let's see, Mr. Juan Antonio, where is the DVD? <coughs> Where is the DVD? It's on the television. No. Well, it's in the. In the well, the, it looks like thing. a radio. <laughs> it looks like a radio. It's in the waste basket. Waste basket. Okay, lo aprendimos la semana pasada. Waste basket. Waste basket. Waste basket. Where are the curtains? What are the curtains? On the wall. On the wall, They're right? Are... The curtains are on the on wall. The walk. On yeah. the wall. On the wall. Wall. And let's see, let's see. Another thing that I can mention. I think we have most of them, right? We have most of them. And that is a very good practice, right? Tell me, with all the objects that you have in front of you, vean todo lo que tienen a su alrededor ahí en su cuarto, en su casa, en el lugar donde están, okay? Vean todo lo que tienen alrededor and give me sentences about the things that you have next to you. What are some of the things that you have there? For example, here, I have, a, I can say, there is a bookcase, there is a bookcase next to me. There is a bookcase next to me. Hay una librera a la par mía. There is a bookcase mm -hmm. next to me. What are objects that you have around? It's up there, Vicky. Here I have some ugly flowers. There are some flowers next to the teacher, right? There you go. Okay. There are some flowers next to the teacher. What else do you have there? Cuéntenme, ¿qué más tienen ahí a su alrededor? The closet is in front of the me. The closet is in front of me. Good. Examples. The mirror is next to the me. Is the mirror is next to me, right? The mirror is next to me. Uh, I am. I huh? am. I am sitting in the sofa. Okay, I am sitting in the sofa. Good. I am, I very, in the sofa. I am sitting in the sofa. I am sitting in, in the, sofa. the sofa. If you see, can you see Luis Eduardo? Pueden ver a Luis Eduardo? Todos? Sí? No. Yeah. no. Okay, no. ahí está Luis Eduardo. Yes. Vamos a ver, va, lo vamos a poner aquí. Lo vamos a Presente destacar. <laughs> ahí está. Where is the bed? Between no no next to next to next to next to where is the door behind behind, behind. behind. where is behind. The, where is the lamp behind behind the, the, next to the bed. Between. it's next to the bed and if you next use between si usamos between between the door and the bed. Between bed. the door and the bed. Ok, vamos a agarrar otro ejemplo. Very good. Luis fue nuestro, nuestro niño aquí, de símbolo de ejemplo. Ajá. Where is the pañalera? Uh -huh. This is like the, ba the baby boom. Behind. The baby bag. Behind. behind. It's behind. behind. It's behind. Where is behind. the fan? ¿Dónde está el ventilador? Where is the fan? Between, between, between the baby bags, right? Between the baby bags. Where is the mosquito racket? 
on the on the table on the table on the table right it's on the table <laughs> katia that's a very good example i am sitting uh, in the sofa very good i am going to take another example right voy a agarrar otro otro símbolo aquí otro niño ejemplo where is the the briefcase ¿Dónde está la maleta where is the briefcase on on what on 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 the closet on the closet on the closet very good i am going to choose another example where is jorge between the plants very good <laughs> okay where is the box the where next the... to next the box is next to marlon next right to next, next to marlon very wow. good very good let's go here where is the purse under no, no. behind Oh. It's over. It's over catering. Over. Over. over catering. Very good. The purse is over catering. Where are the caps? ¿Dónde están las gorras? Where are the caps? The wall. On the wall. On the, On the wall. wall. Very good. On the wall. On the wall. wall. I am going to take this one. Let me see. I am going to take another example. Vamos a ver quién va a ser mi siguiente ejemplo. I am going to take... Todos quitan la cámara. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, let's see. Here you have. Where is the pillow? The pillow is in front of... In front of Jennifer. Very good. The pillow <laughs> is in front of Jennifer. Very good. And in here... Where are the cars? The car are on, on the wall. On, on the, the wall. wall? Behind? On the wall. Behind. 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 On the wall. Behind Marta Jacqueline. Very and... good job. Uh -huh. They are on the wall behind Marta Jacqueline. Very nice. So you see, you can have examples exactly there in your house, right? You have examples there in your house as the crazy picture that i was showing you good so let me share my my screen again and i am going to give you a little just a little uh preview of what we are going to study tomorrow right tomorrow we are going to talk about the countries and nationalities right we're going to talk about countries and nationalities and for sure with these ones, we have a lot of countries, right? And a lot of nationalities. But I have here a couple of examples, okay? If you want to screenshot them, go ahead. screenshot? That's perfect. No. Okay. A screenshot now. There you go. Yay. I don't know where am I, but there you are. A screenshot. It is important that we make a difference between the countries and the nationalities because even on the sentences, we talk about this in a different way. For example, you say, Where are you from, people? Where are you from? I am from. I am from El Salvador. I am from El Salvador. But if you talk about your nationality, you don't say I am from. You say only I am Salvadorian. Salvadorian. Okay. I am from El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. Right. I am from El Salvador, and I'm going to give you the sentence here. I am from. Yo soy de. Right. I am from El Salvador. And I am from I am Salvadorian. Salvadorian, right? Um, I am from El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. In this case, you don't say I am from Salvadorian. It's not possible. Okay. Esto lo vamos a ver ya mañana en más detalle, pero ahorita les quería dar como un preview de lo que vamos a ver. And also, when you say I am from the Salvador, no. 
El Salvador is El Salvador, right? You don't change the name, right? I am from El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. If we are talking about the most famous person right now, where is Shakira from? Shakira from Colombia. Colombia. She's from Colombia. What is her nationality? Colombia. She is? Colombian. Colombian. Colombian, right? And what about uh, Ricardo Arjona? Where is he from? Guatemala. Guatemala. He is from Guatemala. He is from Guatemala. Guatemala. He is Guatemala. He is Guatemala. Guatemala. What about uh, Ronaldinho? Where is he from? Brazil. He is from Brazil. He is from Brazil. What is Brazil. his nationality? Brazilian. He is Brazilian, right? He is Brazilian. So that's what we are going to be studying tomorrow, right? We are going to study countries and nationalities and also how to create sentences in affirmative, negative, and interrogative with the different countries. So my dear students, we are going to stop right now and I need you to continue practicing the sentences. Si pueden escribir más oraciones, it's okay, right, for you to continue practicing. Have a beautiful night, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for another class. Thank, Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Good night. Have a beautiful night. Bye-bye. Continue you. practicing. Bye.